Hi friends, this week we're going to be talking all about flowers and our first story of the week is Grow, Flower, Grow by Lisa Bruce. One day Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. She took it home. Grow, flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge. Inside, she found some of her favorite food. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Then she gave, this, gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny. Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. The flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. The rain fell on it. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. The end. So like I said before, this week we are talking about flowers and today I have a picture of a flower and I'm gonna tell you about all about this flower and how things work and how we get it to grow. So when we were reading our book, we saw that Fran tried to give the flower some pizza and chocolate chip cookies and ice cream and all sorts of other goodies that we might like as people. But flowers, they don't like all that stuff. Flowers just need a little bit of water, some rain, some wind, and a few bumblebees to help along the way. So here is our flower. And the roots of the flower, which are down deep in the ground, they are like straws. They help the flowers get the water. When, the, when it rains, the water comes down onto the ground and the roots, like I said, are like straws. And they slurp up the water and the water goes all the way up through the stem of the flower. And that's what helps our flowers get big and pretty and all colorful and everything. The leaves, or what soak up all the sunlight to help the flower grow. And the flower, see our flower petals here? That's what attract those bumblebees. Remember we talked about those last week? The bumblebees go from flower to flower and they land in the middle where the seeds are and they help pollinate the flowers. And then they take seeds from this flower and they take it to another flower and they take it to another flower. That's how our flowers grow and they help feed our bumblebees and other insects as well. But that is how our flowers grow. So they need sunlight, rain, a little bit of wind, and some bumblebees to help them pollinate. Okay? So we'll talk more tomorrow about flowers.